Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me. I am honored to have been invited to participate in this collaboration sponsored by Rachel Bella Crafts and Angela Kerr. These two talented designers have created two beautiful digital kits that work beautifully together. Down below there is a link tree that will take you to the digital kits as well as all of the designers participating in this collaboration. Best Buds, when I started my junk journal journey, I thought snippet rolls were absolutely beautiful, but I only knew one way to make them, and then I had no idea how I was supposed to use them. We're going to visit a few ways you can make a snippet roll, what I like to call snippet clusters. I put together a small junk journal using these beautiful kits to show you how you can decorate a journal and why making snippet rolls are so important as part of your journal ephemera. <laughs> oh my goodness you guys, this kit is a garden story and I'm just going to quickly <clears throat> flip through here. I will show you the cover. It's not finished. I just put this together to show you how these beautiful papers work together as well as to show you a nice and easy way to use the ephemera and to decorate <clears throat> your pages. So I like to call this right here a snippet cluster. Isn't it pretty on there? This flips out. <clears throat> I just put a little fold down here. I put very few pieces of pre-made ephemera in here. I mainly decorated it with the snippet clusters right there. That is a glassine bag right here. I've got a corner that they gave you, the corner uh, piece that they gave you and they give you in the kit. And I put a little snippet on that. And there's just the tag that comes with the kit, and I put the fussy cut on the front of it. There's another little snippet cluster, and I made it into a belly band. We're going to make these right here. <clears throat> they are little faux stamps using the pieces of ephemera that they give you in this kit. I love that flower right there. There's another one of those clusters. This is a just a pocket right here. <clears throat> There's another one. That little girl is so sweet. All right, so working our way through here, I'm just showing you what it looks like and how gorgeous these papers really do work together. This one right here. It folds out like this, and there's another little glassine bag right there to hold all kinds of little goodies. There's that seed uh, <clears throat> container, faux seed container. Another one of those clusters. Another little side pocket here. This one folds out like that, and then this one folds out like this, and there's the little cluster right there. Now, there are two signatures in this journal. And, excuse me, you guys, I have decorated the first signature. And I thought it would be fun if we make a few of these snippet clusters together. And then we can decorate a couple of the pages in the second signature. Oh, yes, Shabby De Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. She made those really cute, large um, puzzle pieces, and I thought I'd give it a try, and I just think it turned out so cute. Oh, my goodness, what a great idea that was, right? And we've got another one right here. I used the little folder there as a pocket and put a little snippet cluster on there. This right here is our second signature. So there's a pocket. We can just put some of our little clusters on here. 
There's a pocket right there. I'll just flip through real quick. There's a pocket. There's a pocket here. There's a fold out. And there's another large fold out. <clears throat> and a pretty green piece of paper. So this kit has just digitals from the, the two kits. There's a top loading pocket. And this one folds out like that. And then a few of the doily impression green, blue, and yellow um, food base dye papers. And they blend wonderful with it. Also, a couple of pieces of tracing paper that's been coffee dyed in one large pocket in the back. All right, so how did I make those? Well, let's go ahead and bring in some things that I have prepared. I have fussy cut some images. These are paper flowers right here. I purchased them from the store. I fussy cut some of the ephemera out right here. I've got the smaller rectangle pieces from the kit. I have this paper from the kit that I have punched out as a flower. We're going to do that together. I've got some bows I made. I have some of those word stakes that are no longer on a stake. They're just the signs. I've got a larger bowl here with the larger pieces of ephemera. <laughs> I've got some silk um, flowers that I put little bling in the center. I have some small little satin ribbon. I've got some pretty colored lace right here. I have, what else do I have? Oh, I have a few buttons. Not that I used any buttons in mine, but you could use buttons. That would go really well with the kit. And let's see. Let's make our faux stamps first because I think we can really use those in making our cluster, snippet clusters. Now I'm going to grab my stays on and I'm going to get my circle that is for the stamp, the post office, and I'm going to grab here some of these smaller ones. That's what we need. So right here, we have some smaller ones. Let's just take a couple of them here and get these. I think a whole bunch of them are over here. They popped over here, guys. I thought they were in this one, but they're in that one. Okay, that's definitely enough. I don't even think I have that much paper to do all of those because I just brought a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue and this is the same paper little just pieces of what I used in the kit itself when I made that journal. So what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to take one of the pieces of ephemera and I'm going to bring in my art glitter glue and I'm going to apply my glue on the back and I'm going to place this where I have enough room to cut around it. That's really very important when making these that you need to place them so that you can trim around because we're going to be leaving some of this yellow around this piece of ephemera. There's two yellows there. Let's go ahead and let's put a couple of blue ones here. Maybe that shape and maybe this shape. Is there enough to do two on this one page? A reason why I'm not Excuse me, not using this page is because it has a lot of white on it. Maybe I just need to pop right over here because that has some white. Okay, so let's glue. You guys, I'm still, I don't know what this cough is all about, but uh, when I talk, cough, talk a lot, I uh, tend to start coughing again. So I, I do apologize for coughing. Sorry, I'm still trying to get rid of that crazy cold that I got. Now I have a Fiskars mini pinking shears and I'm going to trim around it. So I'm leaving 
some color around this piece of ephemera just like that and I think that's probably a little bit too much I don't want to leave too much I'm trying to make a faux stamp so I think yeah maybe something like that and then we have another one here Let me get it cut out first and then I can work on whittling it down to the size that we need for it to be a faux stamp these are great to use in your snippet clusters and easily made with the ephemera that's offered in the kit. So I've got that done. That's pretty good. And how about if we just trim this one out? <clears throat> so getting this trimmed. All right. I hope you all are enjoying all the videos from all the different uh, designers that have joined the collaboration. I sure am. I am loving watching all of them. I am using my, which one is this now? Uh, what is it called? It's brand new to me. It's called Frayed Burlap. <laughs> and I'm just rubbing my sponge on the pinking marks just to give it a little color i do not have the grungy version i have the um <laughs> i don't know what the words are but i'm going to call it the bright and perky one <clears throat> the bright and perky snippet roll um, artie mays has the grunge version and i do believe that her video is going up today as well so i've got my stays on black Make sure you go over and check hers out. And check everybody else's out too, you guys. So I've got my little mark here and I'm simply going to stamp it onto my faux stamp that we're making, my digital right here. And you can stamp it in different corners. You can stamp part on, part off. This is a little stamp that says I've been used and you can't use this stamp anymore. <laughs> That's the only thing I know what to call it. And I'm just putting that on there too. Oh my goodness, you guys. Those are so cute and so quick and easy to make from these pieces of ephemera. So we've got that done. The next thing I want to do is address our little flowers right here. Now these are the papers that I'm using today. And this right here, this is a paper from the kit. And this is the paper that I've punched these flowers out. And I've used these. I've used all of these. And made all kinds of snippets and uh, snippet clusters. They're the words that I've cut the stakes off, you guys. I just used the words and... I just love this kit. It's a huge kit. Of course, you're getting two kits. So they're very large and wonderful and have all kinds of, of different types of ephemera. All right. So this is the page we're going to use right now. I'm going to fold it in half because I just printed it on copy weight paper. And I'm just going to fold it in half right here. I'm going to bring in this little punch here. It's a little flower punch. And I thought it was very appropriate for this kit. And I'm just going to pop out. I probably only need to pop out a couple. And then since I am inking my pieces, it's important that I at least run my sponge over this. Maybe you ink, maybe you don't ink. That's all a personal preference if you do or not. But I do like the way it looks, even if I'm making it, making a perky journal. <laughs> all right, we've got that. Now let's talk about our bases. You can use bases, the base of your, your little snippet cluster. You could use fabric, and I've got different fabrics here. You could use lace. Now this lace is two inches wide as well as the fabric is two inches wide or you could maybe even use some paper now this paper isn't as wide this paper is just an inch wide right here 
So this isn't going to show, whereas these type of wider pieces are going to show underneath your pieces of um, snippets and clusters. So let's begin with, <clears throat> well, we're going to make one of each or a few of each, and then we're going to use them over in our little journal. I'm going to just grab this blue one right here, and I'm going to roll a little bit out. I'm actually just going to cut it off. I'm not going to make a huge roll, but you definitely can once you get going. And I like to use little um, clothespins to hold my little um, rolled up snippets like this, especially with the clusters, because it's almost like you have to fold the clusters instead of rolling them, but you still can, you know, keep them intact. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So I've got my piece of lace right here, and let's start with, I mean, can you even see this dish? No, let me get this dish in here. Let's start with maybe our one of the little girls here, and let's lay her maybe at an angle. Let's take one of our flowers and let's stick maybe one of our flowers underneath her. Um, how about maybe one of these? I made a few of these bows with my 1 8 inch ribbon and I just made them on my own. I didn't uh, you know, purchase those, and I did purchase these. And maybe add a little bit of, um, maybe I want a little bit more, something like this. And, oh, well, that's pretty doggone cute. All right, let's, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my hot glue gun and the reason why I'm doing that is because it's permanent it's quick and easy and we don't have to wait for anything to dry or move around on us so I'm going to pick this up and I'm simply going to lay my uh, put my glue whoop, <laughs> that went popping off didn't it on the flowers that we punched out of our paper and then I'm going to apply some of this. Did it go this way or this way? I think we went this way, didn't we? Going at an angle. And then uh, let's pop our little flower up here. And we could even put something else. Like we have some little tiny things here. We've got a daffodil. That's really sweet. We could put a daffodil here. It says seedlings. I think there's one that says daffodil. I don't think I have it here. It would be a miracle if I did. No, I don't have it. It doesn't say that. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe something like that. That's pretty cute. Let's do that. I'm going to switch to my art glitter glue now because I'm just gluing on paper. And I'm going to pop that right there like she's holding it. And let's pop our little word on there like this. And do we want a bow on here? I'm thinking maybe we want a blue bow. I have one like this that I made. Oh, that's cute. Well, I don't know. That yellow ties in with the yellow flower. Let's stick with the yellow. Okay, so we've got that one. I should have made my lace a little longer. Let's make another one. I think there's enough room. We can select a smaller, a smaller picture. I think there's some smaller pictures in here. Yeah, they're right here. Okay. We've got this lady, we've got, oh, that's pretty. How about if we try that? Mm, I like that. Okay, so let's do this one. And we've got some stamps that we made. wonder if that would be cute with this picture. I'm not sure. We're just going to try out and see what's happening. 
pretty cute. Alrighty, what else do we have to do? How about, um, well, I've got these. No, we don't want that with that bow. We've got some um, tiny little flowers here. Got some little tiny yellow ones. Put it right on that bow right there like that. That's pretty cute. Maybe we want this bow. Oh yeah, that's much, I like that. All right, let's do that one. So I'm simply going to take my hot glue and I'll put it at an angle. And I'm going to put this on like this. And then I'm going to, let me put another glue gun piece in. I'm going to, where did I, how did I have that? I wish I paid attention to what I was doing. I don't remember what I was doing. That's pretty cute. I like those. Okay, we've got two of them there. Now let's take, um, let's take yellow. Since we had blue, let's take yellow. So we've got our yellow fabric here, and shall we stick with this right now, or shall we, yeah, let's maybe do something like that, and uh, just looking and seeing what we, oh, here, that's cute on there, that's super cute, that goes well together right there. And what else do we want? We can say pollinate, rustic, serenity, fragrant, renewal. I guess pollination, pollinate is a good, a good one for this. Shall we put some flowers or maybe some blue underneath? Oh, I like that. That's sweet underneath it like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay. Alrighty. And, of course, do we want a bow? Or maybe, I'm still thinking, maybe we need to use one of these blue flowers. I have these flowers. I haven't used these yet. They stick up a little bit, but... They're really cute, super cute. Um, oh, how about if we use, I don't want to cover the flower pot up. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a, uh, a grouping going on here. Here, here's one more bit has some flowers on the top. Now this one looks a little more like a true shovel. Um, okay, I like that. I like it turned like that. Let's go ahead. Oh, there's also this one. Well, that's a pretty color, that blue. This is blue. Mm, but maybe it doesn't show up as well. Let's glue on the flowers first and I just lost it in my lap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Come back here. Come back here. Let's go. It, my um, cord from my glue gun caught it, I think. Well, let's just set something on it, Kathy. Let's don't make it so difficult. And yeah, I want to put it up high, so I'm going to see, there, over to the side like that, over to the side like that, okay, then I'm going to, I'm going to turn it this way because I tend to always turn it that way. I'm going to turn it a way that I don't usually turn it. I hope it doesn't throw me off. What happened to what we were going to put on here? What happened to that 
bag of here it is. <laughs> it's cleared out here, guys. The little bag of um, plants inside this little bag. It's pretty cute. Pretty doggone cute. Now I'm gonna switch to my spade and let's get these plants on here, maybe like that. And then we were going to put that word, pollinate. But if we put it right across like that, that's pretty cute. I like that a lot. Right down there like that. I don't have any bling on here. I'm not sure where I would put it. I do have these little tiny flowers. I could take in that center off. I could pop those on there. Get a couple of them. It's like it's a piece of, I guess it's a bead, but it looks like a piece of wood that's on there. Mm -hmm. Just put it in a couple different spots. Maybe right there, and then maybe down here lower, like that. I've got some bling, and I think I got this bling from the Dollar Tree, I think. And I'm going to pick off. They're tiny. They're super tiny. I'm going to pick off a blue one, a couple of blue ones, if I can get it turned over. And I'm going to put it in the center of this, um, of these little flowers. They're paper flowers. And I'm just going to see if I can turn that over, which I probably can't. It's not glued to my finger. Oh, it doesn't have to be so difficult. Okay, let's see if we can do the other one. There, that one was cooperative. Let's see if this one can be cooperative too. No, of course not. It doesn't want to cooperate. There, finally, we got it to cooperate. Okay, it looks like that. Super cute. Shall we make one more? We do. We are going to put these on a, on our in our journal. Where are those really long pieces here? How about if we do something like this? And uh, maybe like that. And. Um, Oh, there's that mushroom that's really pretty. It's a pretty mushroom picture. How about the hat? Is the hat? No, it's probably the wrong color. Yellow. And it's, um, that's pretty nice right there. It blend in with the fabric is what I'm thinking. So let's pop this on like that. Oh, I like that a lot. All right, let's do this. I'll try to remember which way I'm going here. I'm going to leave a space, guys, so we're leaving spaces between this, and we're going to use that fabric as part of the cluster snippet. So that's part of the design is the fabric, the yellow fabric. This one happens to be yellow. In my journal, I use blue and green, so Put that down kind of low than when I had it before, but it is what it is now. It's glued down now. Mm. That wouldn't look very good. Well, hey, no, that looks pretty cool. I think that's too big though. I think I want a small one. Well, that's pretty cute. Do I have any other fussy cuts? There were lots of little fussy cuts in this kit. A lot of them. That's pretty cute. I don't know. I kind of like this up and down one. Yeah. It's very abstract. Doesn't really go with um, with the mushroom, but snippets are kind of abstract. They are, and nature. They just kind of are. When we make them, they just kind of, you know, we just put together this and that and Especially if you make one that, what I call a traditional one, where you just, you know, clump them all together and you, there's no separation. 
I do enjoy making them have a separation so that not only do you know where to cut them, but part of that um, material that you're using is becomes part of your design. And I like that a lot. Okay, there's two there. That one's super cute, super cute. All right, so now we have to do a skinny one like this. And this is, um, I think it's a file folder, and it's about an inch wide. Now here you can, you can use smaller pieces if you want. You can use um, bigger pieces and smaller pieces and mix them together. So let's kind of do that. Let's kind of mix them together. So do we want the girls or would we, I think in here there's, um, yeah, there's this and there's the garden gate and there's another little girl. I'm just looking to see, have I used, I probably already used, there's a lot of little girls. Let's use the little girl and the the butterflies. How about that? And then let's use our bow stamps that we made. And uh, let's see here. One going this way. Um, kind of wish I'd made one going the long, more of the long way. Alrighty. Let's see here. I'm going to cover that up at the top. So let's get her glued on. So I might as well just glue my strip. And I tend to lay my things crooked when I make a, a cluster. I don't tend to, oh, here's some that are sideways. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted a sideways one. I don't tend to go up and down. I tend to go at a side angle. I don't know. I think that's just a, um, a you know, something that I do. Uh, it's no rhyme or reason to it. Let's make the traditional where you're just kind of clumping it all together and it all runs together. I will be honest, I don't think when you use like images like this, they're not exactly my favorite because I never know where to cut them. But I'm showing different styles. So we're showing different styles, then we need to show all the different ways in which, well, not all the different ways. There's a lot of different ways you could make a cluster. So this is not even close to all the different ways. Sky's the limit on that, guys. You can, you can do all kinds of things with it. All kinds. So I'm just putting it over to the side. I'm trying to figure out where I can use this, this shovel. I need it to show up. Maybe not quite yet. Uh, let's see. How about another, another one of our little faux stamps? Just got blue all over the place. Another faux stamp, and how about, uh, what else do we have here? We've got, <clears throat> we've got a lady. Let's do a lady. Let's do a lady. Right up there like that. Maybe we can do a shovel with the lady. Nope. Uh, the boots, the the bag of greens, the uh, hmm. I'm grabbing another one of these unless I can find something that goes with this. Well, let me just put that sideways. Why not? Just put it sideways. Now we're going to go back and we're going to add some things. How about, we haven't used these yet, how about if we use some flowers? And uh, let's do another flower maybe. 
right here. And let's put uh, maybe a yellow bow. Just I'm just putting them here and there, guys. I'm not really having any rhyme or reason to where I'm putting them, but it sure does turn out cute. It's really cute. And uh, let's see. How about we put some of these flowers on here? And a little bit more. Uh, maybe right down here. And uh, how about right here? And then, of course, we can always add some more bling. Now, this also came from the Dollar Tree. I'm positive that one came. But there's not that many. Oh, here. I've used, I've used those blue ones. Um, oh, good heavens. I just pulled that off. I used some blue ones, a lot of the blue ones, when I was making my decorating my first batch that I made. So I'm just going to pop these off. How about some light yellow ones? That'll work. I'm just, well, let's try to get some to come off here. There we go. Uh, maybe one more to come off. Oh, we also have green because there's a lot of green in this um, digital kit. A lot of green. So, Let's move that over there, and let's see about popping a couple of these on here and there. So once again, I'm just placing them here and there. Can you hear my little dog is fussing? She chirps. I think she chirps like a bird, but okay. That's kind of looks a little orange. It's okay, it'll be okay. Alrighty, let's look at how this looks. Now this is a little bit more of a traditional style snippet. And this one you can roll up like that. And then you would just be able to put a paper uh, a clothespin on it. Now I'm going to get my journal. We're going to decorate a couple of pages using what we just made. So let me clean up and I'll be right back. All right, so I have my journal right here and let's get to the second signature. Here we are right here. So we could put definitely put a little um, snippet or a cluster here. Those are too big. Those are pretty big. How about if we Go with something like this and let's see here oh, they're kind of big I could uh, looking at this here I think that's a little big for that hmm. here we go this might do well right here. It's got a blue bow, and this is blue. This, this print is this print. All right, so let's use that one right there. So I'm simply going to trim, and I think I'm going to do it at an angle. I want to keep that lace as part of the decoration, and I'm going to let it come off the page just a little bit, just like that. I'm going to use my hot glue gun because um, I need it to really grab a hold with the lace being used. And oh my goodness, now look how cute, fast and easy that was. We decorated that page. It went perfectly with this page right here that folds out just like that. And it's part of the kit that goes together with everything. That was easy and simple. I love that. I love it when it comes together like that. Now let's see. How about 
if we find something to put on here. I think maybe one of these yellow ones might be really pretty. That's pretty on there, just like that, because I like the flowers here and I like the flowers here. So let's do that. I'm just going to trim it right here because this material, this yellow material, is going to be part of the decoration. It's going to be part of the look. And I'm just taking a few of these threads off. And just checking this out, I think I need to cut it just a little bit. I'm not removing all of the yellow, but I do need to trim a little of it off. Like that. And let's just pop that right on there, just like that. So adding my blue. And then I'm going to, and I like the fact that this is kind of, you know, the, the material is crooked, but yet the, the little digital ephemera is straight. How cute is that? That was cute, simple, and easy. Alrighty, so we haven't done this one yet. We haven't done one of these. Let's see if we can find somewhere we can put this. Um, you know, you always can do a belly band. But I was going to see if we could do something that's different. That's not quite big enough. It's not too bad right there. You can put it here. Let's keep looking for just a second. That's not bad right there. What's this doing? Um, well, this is the fold out. This completely folds out. Oh, this would be good here. Because the house is here. And how about if we put it... I'm not sure how to cut this, though. This is the part that I'm not too sure about on these. Now... I'm going to switch and I'm going to grab that um, Fiskars uh, Pinking Shears again because this faux stamp, I'm going to cut it right there where that faux stamp is. It's cutting that, um, it's trying to cut that hot glue. Okay, I think that's what that was, hot glue. And let's see about... And we want it clear over here. This folds in like that. It's got to go in pretty far if it's going to do that because how about if we put it right down here? Oh, you can't even see. Let's put it right down here. Yeah, let's do that. Now this is all paper, so I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. I'm going to glue that up and I'm going to pop this right here. What a wonderful way to pull the junk journal in together so everything blends well together it all matches. It's all cohesive. I absolutely love making snippets for your junk journal. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.